Welcome all. My topic is about factors affecting social learning, social conformity and social competency. Now let's get into our topic. So now let's get into our topic. We are going to discuss about social learning. Social learning was proposed by Albert Bandura. According to Bandura, social learning occurs in four stages. That is attention, retention, production and motives or reinforcement. We are going to discuss each stage in detail. So the first one is attention. Attention is that whatever action that we observe, that is called attention. The process of observing, that is called attention. The second one is a retention. Whatever action that we observe, when we put it into memory, that is called retention. The third one is production, that is whatever action that we saw, when we put it into practice, that is called production. And finally, motives or reinforcement. That is, if we find any benefit from that action, try to apply in your life. Otherwise, if you don't find any benefit from that action, just avoid it. So, these are the four stages. Attention, retention, production and motives or reinforcement. Social learning occurs in a large wide scale. It doesn't occur within an individual or a group of people, but it occurs in a social context. The next is that we are going into the definition of social learning. What is social learning? Social learning is observing the behavior of a particular person. And if that observed action gives you any benefit, Try to apply it in your life and if, if that action doesn't give you any benefit, try to avoid it. Never ever try to put that action in your life. Try to put good practices in your life. That is social learning is always observing the behavior of a particular person. And that observance might be a good practice or a bad practice. If it is a good practice, try to put it in your life. If it is a bad practice, just avoid it. That is what social learning means. So whom are we supposed to observe? It can be anyone. It can be, a, uh, it can be our parents, it can be our peers, or it can be the people whom we like, or it can be a person whose behavior is same as that of us. So next is the example of social learning. So I'm going to explain the fourth stage with the help of this example. Here, the child is trying to learn how to tie a shoelace and he is trying to observe the model. And what he is trying to observe, he is observing the finger moments of the model. So here the first stage is attention is the first stage that is taking place. That is, he is observing the model. And next is that the learner must also remember what the model did by committing the least trying moment into memory. That is, the learner here, after observing what the model did, the learner must put that action into his memory. And the second stage is taking place, that is retention. Now, the third one is to translate his or her understanding how to tie his or her lace into overt lace trying behavior. Here, here the learner is trying to put that action into practice. That is, production is the third stage is taking place. That is, production is taking place. That is, he's putting the action into practice. That is, Production is the stage that is taking place. And finally, if he finds any motive from it, he would try to do it. Otherwise, he would avoid it. And the last stage is motivation or reinforcement is the stage that is taking place. That is the four stages taking place with the help of this example. That is attention. That is he's observing the finger moment of the model. Next one, whatever he, uh, the child has observed, he has put it into memory. That is, retention is taking place. The third one, he is trying to put that into practice. That is, production is taking place. 
and if he finds any motive from this action he would try to uh, apply it in his life otherwise he would avoid it that is motivation or reinforcement is taking place the other example of social learning is that instead of walking on the pedestrian path if you walk on the main road the chance of being hit by a car is more so no one would apply it in a practical life because their life will be in risk see when a person walks on the main road and and and, and a person is observing this and if a car comes and hits him he understands that he he cannot he understands that this action should not be applied in the practical life because there is a lot of uh, chance to be hit by a car in the previous example the child was trying to learn how to tie a shoelace and he in that action the child was benefiting out of it from that action the child was learning new thing but in this example if the child, if the person learns this observes this and if he puts it into practical life his life would be in danger so what i am trying to say is that always try to adopt good practices and try to whatever good practices that you observe try to apply it in your life and when the bad practices when you observe it just try to avoid it or neglect it let's discuss about the uses of social learning in education see when a teacher comes to the class to teach a content instead of giving so much explanation the teacher should bring teaching material so that this will help the child to understand the concept very well for example if the teacher brings the model of the square then the child will get an idea how the square looks like and also about the features so instead of giving so much explanation if the teacher brings the model of the square the child will understand the concept much quickly and will get an idea and he or she will never try to forget will never forget the concept that's the benefit of teaching material and the next one is that they develop skill when they mingle with the students and develop the quality of teamwork leadership and while they mingle with the students they develop the quality of teamwork leadership and they somewhere observe this and try and brings positive aspect from that and this will make them capable to lead, to lead a good future life factors affecting social learning social competency and social conformity so before getting into social competency let's discuss about social conformity social conformity social conformity the word itself it tells everything that is it's about society that is social conformity is based on the belief behavior and attitude of the society and it is always easy to follow the path others have made rather than creating a new one for example in the society there are a lot of people who are teachers engineers and doctors and these are the path which are followed by many people but when you try to follow the path where others have not tried then you will find so many challenges and difficulties that is it is always easy to follow the path others have made when you create a new one you face a lot of challenges and difficulties and you are somewhere adjusting your attitude with the situation for example when you go for a college canteen and you are supposed to stand in a queue in order to get the food and you never ever like to be in a queue but you have no other choice rather than accepting it so you try to maintain the rules and there you are adjusting your attitude with the situation so based on the belief or based on the rules and regulations of the society there uh, you are somewhere trying to adjust your attitude with the particular situation and social conformity has good side and bad side and now we are going to discuss it in detail 
As I said before, social conformity has good side and bad side. So we are going to discuss the good side. See, you are going for a party and everyone in that party is using knife and fork. But you prefer to eat with your hand. But you somewhere become conscious and you try to use knife and fork. There you are going with the flow of the society and you are changing your attitude. Even though you are changing your attitude and even though you are going with the flow of the society, you are learning a new thing out of it. That is, there are a lot of people who don't know how to use knife and fork. And when they go with the flow of the society, they are learning a new thing. That is, in this context that you are not at all, um, you are not at all harming anyone, but you are getting benefited out of this context. You are learning a new thing. But when it comes to the next example, Sadi, Sadi was a, that is, that is a bad side of social conformity. Sadi was a practice in which when the husband dies, the wife should sacrifice her life by jumping into the fire. And this was an evil practice followed by the society. So in both the examples, this, wa, this were the uh, uh, things which were followed by the society and the first one was the good side and the second one was one uh, was an evil side. Another example of social conformity which is a positive aspect is that when a child joins a school at first he might feel difficult but later he becomes familiar with the rules of the school and the environment of the school and he gains a lot of knowledge and somehow he gets adjusted with the rules and regulations of the school. So this is a positive aspect of social conformity. Now we are going to discuss about social competency. Social competency means having all the skills such as behavior, intelligent, communication. If a person have all the skills, he will become successful. And that is what social competency says. Social competency that is having all skills such as behavior, intelligent, communication makes you successful. Now, social competency is that we observe the past experience of someone or a, or a particular person and when we apply it in one's life, that is social competency. For example, if a person is a principal of a school and he is very much successful in running that school and as a person, if you are observing his strategy or his actions or experience, and when you get later, when you get a chance to apply it in your life, uh, when you get a chance to become a principal, you somewhere apply his ac uh, actions or experience into your life and you would definitely become a successful person. So always social competency is that try to observe and learn the past experience of someone or of, of a per particular person who is successful and when a chance comes into your life just apply his experience and definitely you will become a successful and social competency how can you increase your competency is that you are exploring you should uh, interact with the people when you get interacted with the people your communication skill is increasing you get an idea how to behave in a in a, in a society or in a, in, a, in a group of people there somewhere your competency level is increasing always in the first stage of a child their support will be their parents that is it can be in a social and emotional support but later when they grow up they get attached to their own peer and if that peer rejects them or neglects them their social competency gets affected with an example if a child has a poor social skill and and he feels ignored by uh, by by the peer or by his friend he becomes lonely and there his social competency is somewhere getting threatened and we can see that rejected children or the uh, or the or the children who have poor social skill they always play alone they spend time or they spend time or they play alone 
and they interact with a small group of people where they feel comfortable the socially rejected children will miss a lot of opportunities and due to this uh, their, their confidence level decreases and the child who has good social skill will be socially accepted now for example in a school program the rejected children will never uh, join the program and their opportunity is missed what has to be done is that the teacher has to support the rejected children and 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 should bring them into the friend so that their confidence level will increase and when the when the child uh, who has good social skill uh, observes when observes the action of teacher they somehow try to help or support the child and their confident level will uh, increase so as now about the conclusion see for every topic there are positive side and negative side so always try to apply positive side into your life and try to neglect the negative side thank you